What's going on everyone? My name is Barbara. I am the owner of Right For You Virtual Services and today I'm going to do um, a quick tutorial on how you can take one um, basic stock photo and make multiple social media graphics. So I'm going to go ahead and get started in Canva. Canva is um, the program that I use and I actually love and it's completely free. You can um, upgrade to the paid version which I think is like $12.95 a month. Um, so I am on that version. However, um, there are many things that you can do with the free version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on underneath create a design social media. And once that opens up, it gives us a, a blank canvas that we can use. So I am going to go to uploads and pick out one of the pictures that I have here. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. So this is a picture that I chose and I got this from createherstock.com. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit so that it can fit or cover um, the 800 by 800 dimensions. So as you can see, I have the picture right here. And if you notice the purple dotted lines, that's a feature that Canva uses to make sure that I have it in the middle of the um, measurement field. So I have the picture there. So I'm going to go ahead and select some text. And I'll just change it to white for right now. All right. So I'm going to type a quick slogan. change this a little bit okay so and I might you know what let me change that to um, I'll make it pink pink is one of the colors I like to use so I'll make that pink so um, I have a slogan here and I'm gonna go ahead and um, put that in the center I'll make it a tad bit bigger I'm going to leave it like this for now. And that's in the center. So um, that's just a slogan and or a quote and on um, the background in the center. So what I'll do is um, I can take in it, as you already saw, I can change the colors um, depending on what, you know, what my mood may be at the time or um, make it what other color, whatever colors stand out or whatever um, colors are for your brand. Um, also, you can um, choose the different fonts. These are the ones they have available down here. Um, I purchased a few fonts from, I think it's fontbundles.com if I'm not mistaken. So that's the ones that you see here. Let me see. No, I don't like that one. Um, I'll stick with that one for right now. Let me see, do I want to stick with, no, you know what, I like winter script. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and play with winter script and make that a little bit bigger. Okay. So we have that. So that's, of course, one way that you can do it. Now, a couple of things you can do to take the same stock photo and make it for multiple purposes. If you just play around with where it's located and use different angles of it, that changes the feature. So now that makes it another um, photo because you have a different part of the photo that's showing. If you decide to go over this way, I'm gonna drag it down here. That's another part of the photo that you're now showing. You can do that for all four corners if you want. Um, again, I'm just and I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how you may, you know, sometimes you might be strapped for cash. So if you buy that photo from um, a paid site like, you know, um, Shutterstock or one of the other places, or even if you, you know, you went to a site and they offered maybe, you know, free photos or free stock photos. Um, this is one way that you can turn that same stock photo and have, you know, pull multiple purposes for it. And it'll look like you're using, you know, using different photos when it's in actuality, you know, one photo. 
So now I'm trying to put it back in the middle. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. All right. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is um, use a transparency so that way um, it kind of covers the picture. So let's go to um, shapes. And I'm just going to pick the square. And as you can see, it's already a shade of blue. And I'm going to arrange it so that it goes to the back so that it's bringing um, my picture forward. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll make it transparent. So as you can see, it kind of gives it a different shade. So that's another thing that you can do. And you can make it any color. Um, I did pink just because pink is usually um, a popular one to use. But if you change the transparency, it gives it a different shade. So I'll change that to white so that you can see it a little bit better. There you go right there. Um, but you can pretty much make it any, you know, any shade that you want to. Let me try yellow. So that's pretty cool. Or purple or orange. So that gives it a different look as well. Um, another thing you can do, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Change this back to pink. So you can also um, take a shape and add a shape behind it. And make the shape kind of stand out. You can do a square where it's covering the picture or you can still make that a little bit more transparent so that you see the square and you see the picture and you also see the font. Or you can do um, different shapes. That's one is the rectangle or the square. You can also make a different square and put it behind it. So that makes it and change, we'll make the font a little bit smaller and change the box. That's another way you can kind of make it a little bit different by changing, playing with the different shapes that's available. Of course, the circle gives it a different feel. That's another, you know, another um, feature, just changing the shape. You can, um, another one that I kind of like to do is if you do um, the triangle. Let me move that out the way. So let's say you have this, you can definitely use that and that changes um, the picture as well. Um, so if you have it so that the triangle is there, that also adds a different feel to it. And what one time what I did was, if you do it like this maybe, and then take the, your words and maybe add it over and kind of play with that a little bit. And you might not want to put it there, but that's another way that you can do it. Or um, we can click on this um, arrows, the circle with the arrow and flip it. And then if you do that and drag this over, you can take the words up here and then that way you can make the words a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can. Let's see. Might be too big. I probably have to change the font. There we go. So you can do it like that as well. And while still, you know, um, playing with the picture as far as if you want to make the picture. Um, let me see if I can grab the picture. There we go. I just had it. There we go. So if you want to do the same thing with the picture and show different angles. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, but that's another thing that you can do too to um, add a different dimension to it. And again, um, you can match the colors and the font style and the font color to what you want it to be. I'm just trying to give you some different options um, on how you can kind of change this up. And I'll do one more shape. Um, do this one. This one is a little different. So that's another way that you can um, arrange it to the back. That's another way that you can change it up. And again, you can play with the font, I mean, play with the um, shape color as well. So that's another thing that you can do. So I'm just trying to give you different ideas of how you can take the same stock photo 
and use it for multiple purposes so that it doesn't appear to be the same photo and you're giving it a different feel um, so that you can maybe, you know, take one photo and one, um, one photo and turn it into um, 10 different social media graphics. So again, and I apologize for the phone. <laughs> um, again, my name is Barbara Everett and I am the owner of um, Write For You Virtual Services. You can check me out on Instagram for at Write For You, W-R-I-T-E, For You Virtual Services. I'm in the process of building my blog now, but if you definitely need to reach out to me, I also do social media graphics for my clients. So if you don't have time and you would like for um, me to um, possibly do some work for you, definitely feel free to hit me up in my um, um, DM on Instagram and let me find, and, you know, tell me what you want and let's see what I can do. But here's just a short tutorial on um, how you can create different graphics for um, social media. All right. Talk to you guys soon.